Hello my dear friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Barbara and today we're going to be looking at the secondary progression going from a Cancer Sun or Rising into Leo Sun or Rising. So this video is for you if you do have this progression. If you're a cross watcher, welcome as well. If you don't know what secondary progressions are, I did make a previous video where I talked about what they are and how they're calculated. I'm going to put it in the comments below. So let's get into it. So secondary progressions, first what we have to do is look at what the sun and rising mean. So the rising deals with the first house. Okay, so it's the house of the self. It's our identity. It's how we present ourselves to the world. The sun deals with the ego, okay? So when we progress, we're going through an identity change, okay? Sun or rising progression is an identity change. So for those of you who are originally cancers, and also another thing to note is it's not like your sign is changing. It's an additional energy on top of the energy that you already have. So for those of you that are going from Cancer Sun or Rising, you guys originally were probably very emotional, okay? On an emotional level, you felt everything around you. You felt everyone's feelings, including your own. You probably needed a lot of time to retreat, to go into your shell, okay? Because we look at it, it's a crab, right? So it has a little home. So you guys needed time to go into your home, into your space to sort everything out, okay? Maybe you guys would avoid things like big events, you know, being around a lot of people, places that are crowded, like these types of things were probably like very draining for you energetically because cancers feel everything around them, okay? So you guys would still go, but then you guys would probably need a lot of time to recuperate after that in your little, you know, home, right? The little crab home. So basically what this means is you guys are now coming out of this energy, okay, where you spent a lot of time in your home, building your safe space, your home looks nice, you know, or wherever your home is, whether it's just within yourself and maybe you guys did travel or something like that. Maybe you guys have different placements in your natal chart, but overall you guys wanted to always retreat not be noticed okay you guys really didn't want to have the attention on you because again the attention on you would mean taking on other people's energies okay whether again you guys were aware that this was the reason or not that was probably what was taking place behind the scenes so that being said you guys are now moving into leo what's leo flashy here hi i'm available like hello everybody like i'm here to run the show Leo is here, whether you are aware of it or not, like the thing is, it's the sun, right? That's what Leo is ruled by. So it's kind of like the sun is shining, whether that person's having a good day, they're very flashy, okay? They want the attention on them. So this is the thing, you guys now have to get comfortable with taking on attention or even asking for attention, maybe in your Cancerian placements, you guys were more like timid or passive or behind the scenes where it was like, I don't care, that person can have the show, it's not my place. But now you guys are being asked to stand up, right? You guys are being asked for you guys to be seen. Ultimately, every human wants to be seen at the end of the day, right? It's just different people go about it differently. Leo is very much in your face, right? Leo always wants to be seen. So you guys are now going through this transition progression where you guys are wanting to be seen so basically during this time you guys have to get comfortable with being seen okay maybe you guys have these dreams and goals and desires that you guys want to achieve but maybe there's a fear there of being seen or of even being hurt okay because it does deal with emotions on an emotional level or maybe some of you guys are worried of taking on other people's energies or things like conflict like cancer doesn't really you know like to deal with conflict but it's like leo's very like confrontational right so it's like you guys kind of have to now become okay with these Leo-like qualities. Also, Leo deals with creativity. So a lot of you guys might be asked to express yourselves creatively during this time. So again, wanting to be seen, expressing yourselves. That's what Leo deals with. It's all to do with expression. And it's like it's an all-encompassing energy because it's kind of like the Leo's overall existence is always going to be either theatrical or very expressive or again they might talk with their hands a lot like whatever it is like they're always like we're here they take up a lot of space so that's the thing with this progression you guys are now learning to take up space be heard be seen okay get comfortable with that okay because again maybe you guys have some sort of goals and dreams and desires that you want to achieve but they're asking you to be okay and comfortable with being seen. So this is a huge thing. You guys, during this time, your interests might change, okay? So you guys might not want to be at home as much as you used to, okay? Maybe you guys were originally a homebody. Now you guys are in the Leo energy and Leo's like spontaneous, okay? Let's go on this trip. Let's have this venture today. You know, that's the thing with the Leo energy because it deals with the inner child, okay? It deals with the inner child. So it's kind of like every day is an exciting day when you have Leo placements, especially in the sun arising because the sun is Leo's home. So it's kind of like the happiest when it's there, right? They're very positive. They're very happy. The thing is shadow traits of Leo is if 
you are not getting the attention that you want or you seek, they might fall into drama. Okay, so just something to watch out for. You know, things where it's like they're willing to do anything to get that attention on them. As long as you guys are aware of this, every sign has its light side and its shadow side. But this is kind of like the transition you guys are going through. Okay, so it's like you were home, you were comfortable with being at home, being on your own, being in your own energy or whatever. Maybe you had friends or maybe you had a partner where it was kind of like just you guys in the home, right? However it might manifest. Now it's kind of like, okay, now we're going out to see the world. We're going on these adventures. Again, people around you might kind of be like, you were such a homebody, but now you always want to do something spontaneous and fun. And, you know, it's like maybe you were always interested in things like theater. The Cancerian energy within you was kind of like, oh, I don't really want to go out there. You know, it's like I'm comfortable here. Like that's Cancer. Cancer is really comfortable when it's in its shell, okay? When it's in its like home. So the thing is, you guys are now being asked to step out there, go outside into the world. Maybe you guys are going to be interested in things like, you know, acting, Broadway, singing, like whatever it is. You might have different placements in your chart where it's going to align differently. Being seen, it's also a leadership role. So like, let's say you guys were like at some sort of job and it's like now you're being asked to be a manager or now you're being asked to be a facilitator because Leo also deals with teaching. You guys might be interested in even working with children, being a teacher or something of this sort or entertaining children. I'm seeing those like people who dress up in like a huge teddy bear costume or whatever it is, like things like this. It's very Leo like where it's like they're in the huge teddy bear costume. So they're being seen, the attentions on them and they're entertaining children. So that's kind of like the whole transition here. You guys are basically being asked to be seen, being put in front of a crowd. It might be kind of like uncomfortable in the beginning for you, but the more that you progress into your progression, you guys are eventually going to get comfortable with being seen and all these things because that's the beauty of astrology. It's like it's showing us, you know, the way that we're progressing and like the way that we're growing and evolving other things. Like maybe you guys were, you know, in some sort of feminine role of some sort. Maybe you were like a nurse or maybe you were a stay at home parent or whatever it is, some sort of nurturing role. Well, now when the Leo progression comes through, who knows, maybe you guys are going to want to start your own channel where you talk about that. Do you do you see what I mean? It's like it's it's literally like you're taking things that you used to do and now you're adding the Leo twist on them. Another thing that I always noticed also is in a lot of like singers, performers, natal charts, specifically musicians like artists with them, a lot of them had cancer placements. And I always wondered because I was like, oh, it's interesting that they have cancer like sun, moon rising. And I never understood because I was like, cancer doesn't really want to be seen. But it makes sense because it's like they take the emotional world and then they eventually get to their progression. And if we were to look at their charts, probably around the time of their progressions, they got comfortable in being on stage. So here's another example where it's like you're taking the emotional world, you're creating it into art, you're creating it into music. And now you're coming out of your shell and you're being seen. So this is my quick little video on the secondary progression from Cancer, Sun or Rising into Leo, Sun or Rising. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. You guys can let me know in the comments below. Make sure you like the video, you can share and subscribe, and I hope you all have a beautiful rest of the day.